With the first pick, the Lions didn't surprise anybody because they announced it Friday night in taking Matt Stafford, but there were certainly some surprises with their other two picks here on day one of the 2009 NFL Draft. Jason Horowitz, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin, CBSSports.com's Clark Judge. Glad to be with you. And let's just start with Matt Stafford, Pat, because we haven't had a chance yet to talk about it. Are you okay with that being number one? I'm fine with the pick. I'm not fine with the contract, and neither are the other general managers around the National Football League. $41 million guaranteed. Even Roger Goodell stopped by to see me today, and we talked about that. You run the projections on that guaranteed money. You're talking about $185 million guaranteed for the first five picks. They're all going to play off that deal. That's troublesome to me. As a player, he's fine. Doesn't have a good enough supporting cast to win yet. I hope they don't put him on the field. Well, part of that supporting cast is uh, going to have to be pick number 20, which was Brandon Pettigrew, a tight end. And Clark, going into this draft, everyone said the Lions need offensive line, defensive front seven. Uh, they need everything. They were 0 16, first time, first team to ever do that. But uh, taking Brandon Pettigrew at 20. Good player, but does it fit for the Lions? Well, I have no problem with Brandon Pettigrew because he's the one tight end here who can block. I mean, he could block and he can catch balls. And I know several teams, including Philadelphia, that were really interested in him. But I think that's okay. I don't mind it. I looked at Michael Orr that was there, and I thought that's a possibility. But Pettigrew's right about right there. I mean, he was like the 18th, 19th pick, and, and I thought it was a good spot for him. He can do a couple things for him, including blocking. And you always say that a tight end is a quarterback's best friend. Uh, Pat, what about uh, at 33, the first pick of the second round? And You know, chance to get Ray Maluga, the, the answer, the middle linebacker or James Laurinaitis. They go with Lewis Delmas, the safety of Western Michigan. It's a it's a need, but was it the right need? I don't think it was. I mean, I, I don't, look, I'm not here to criticize their picks, but Delmas and I had him graded in the middle of that round, as did Gil Brandt. To me, it was an opportunity to steal Laurinaitis. Here's a guy, if you study him on tape, the guy is tremendous in pass coverage, and he's the kind of guy they need in the middle, and he can call a defense, and he can key and diagnose. That would have been a steal pick for them. Would you agree with that, on Clark? Yeah, I do. Uh, I think they probably were swayed by the clock at the combine. Laurinaitis ran slowly, but he's a playmaker. He makes a lot of tackles. I agree with that. All right, so Detroit going quarterback, tight end, and safety, not addressing the offensive line or the defensive front seven. We'll see how that plays out as the Lions try to get a victory here sometime in 2009. Something, of course, they didn't do in 2008. For Pat Kerwin, Clark Judge, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.